Hey guys, I'm making this video just for GoFundMe. Um, sorry, I'm in bed right now because my back is out. So that's one of my problems. Hmm. Yeah, me. So I wrote down a long cliff note story about my somewhat journey, and hopefully this clarifies a little bit. I'm not here to scam anybody or anything. Um. I would definitely prove that I bought the stuff once I raised the money, so that's not an issue at all. So I don't want anybody thinking I'm trying, you know, scam. Um, so I'm gonna repeat what I wrote. Hopefully, give a little bit more insight. Uh, let's see. So I already told you a story. I grew up obese, basically. There was times where I was perfectly normal as a kid. But once I hit teenage years, I started blowing up. It was very difficult for me to lose weight. I grew up with gymnastics and dancing and stuff like that. I was a very active child. I was active preteen. But once I hit teenage, it was very hard to maintain and lose weight, even though I was still active. Um, I didn't eat bad. I didn't eat terrible. You know, we didn't have much junk food in the house. It was like a weekend junk food thing, and it was barely anything. It was like one item. That was what we were allowed to pick, one item only. And it was just like bag of Doritos so that will last me like five days <laughs> um so it's not like I grew up with poor eating habits and as I got older my eating habits got a little better um I wasn't eating so much rice because you know growing Puerto Rican and always having rice you kind of get sick of it after a while so I started eating more salads and fruits so but then my weight would still go up and there was times where I lost dramatic amount of weight but then I would gain it all back really fast um, for no reason, um, I did Zumba for one, like, for six months, I think it was, and I lost, like, 100 pounds, um, but then once I stopped Zumba, started doing regular dancing, you know, just the radio stuff like that, I was still active, just not doing Zumba, um, religiously, because I was doing Zumba, like, all day long, like, literally, I'll wake up, do Zumba, stop, watch TV show for an hour, then Zumba again for a couple hours, you know, I was doing it religiously, and then, you know, I wouldn't lose anymore I would start actually gaining um so I was basically fighting for my life for the most part and you know time went by my weight skyrocketed to over 400 pounds I remember it was like 425 430 was the highest I ever weighed myself um um then I got into riding bikes and I lost some of that and I gained it again it was just a yo-yo effect all the time like I said, I was always active. I was hiking bike for like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the summer. Um, so it was not like I was a lazy bum. And it was time before internet, so <laughs> all we had to do was go outside. So that's our entertainment. Uh, you know, we didn't have all the consoles. We did have consoles, of course, but we didn't have like everything you have now. All the access you have to now, electronics and gizmos and gadgets and whatnot. No tablets, no iPod, no iPad. So, <laughs> we didn't have all this stuff. But, anywho. Uh, despite how old I am. <laughs> um, you know, it's just... I gained, I lost, I lost, I gained. And then, as I got older, it was harder and harder to lose. But gaining was so easy. And there was times where I didn't have much money, and I was living alone, and I barely ate. You know, all I had was a few things here and there. And I... You know, I did eat, you know, what I can, but I was still gain and gain and gain. It was to the point where, you know, my highest weight as a teenager was full 40 pounds, but my highest weight as, you know, past teenager as a full grown adult was around 360. And I will maintain between 360 and 340 for a very long time. And I went for the RNY gastric bypass seminar and went to the procedure of testing and nutritionists and stuff like that at the age 27. Um, after six months of going to that, I decided not to do it because it scared the crap out of me. All the side effects, all the stuff you have to maintain, all the rules, it scared me because it was a high risk surgery. And not just the surgery itself, it's just living the life afterwards with high risk. And I was not ready for that, mind-wise, body-wise, I was just not. So at that age, 27, I decided to go and purchase a total gym. Cause you could do the monthly payment which helped a lot it took like six years to pay it but i paid it <laughs> 27 i ordered a total gym and i 
try to work out at home and stuff like that. Uh, and pray I didn't break the total dream because the max weight is like 300. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, don't break. But, you know, my weight went down to like 300 to 280 and I was maintaining that for a while. Um, it'll fluctuate from 280 to, I think it was 320 for a while. And, you know, by the time I hit 30, I got bad news. All my testing um, was coming back horrible. My lungs were shutting down. My kidneys was, a, you know, I had infections everywhere. Um, diagnosed pre-diabetic. And it was just one bad news after another, after another. My joints and my knees, it's it's painful even now it is it's super painful so and, and ironically I had the, um, got all this report on the phone from my doctor while I was at the gym <laughs> while I was at the gym yes I was at the gym at this time and yeah at that point my doctor advised me that I should really look into the bypass again and I decided to do research again to relearn and stuff like that, see what, what my options are, because I was looking into the lab bed at that point. Um, then I came across vertical safe gastrectomy, which I actually like the sound of that a lot better than the ROI. No rerouting anything. So I went for that and actually got in pretty quickly. Um, my first appointment was not until like December for the seminar, because it's the first step. But then, you know, stuff happened, life interfered, and I didn't go to January. So, when I went to January seminar, I was at 2, not 2, yeah, 3, like, 330, 340 pounds, something like that, 340 probably, around there. And it was right after the holiday, so you're going to gain a little bit of the holiday. And I'm a baker and a cooker, so I gained a bit. Anyways, you tell you the point. <laughs> um yeah so when I went there it from January and I think I got everything settled I went through all the appointments stuff like that I lost like you know somewhat pounds and by the time my surgery date I was 306 and my surgery date was, was April 30th of 2013 now here's what the fun starts to happen in the beginning it was painful Lord, it was painful oh my land it was it ever and you know, I got through the pain and stuff like that. I dealt. I did with the ER once. Because it was just too much. I thought it was not normal. But anyways. Um, so. <sighs> um, after a while, I started getting better. I started hanging out more. I went to the beach and stuff like that. And I started having episodes where I think, yeah, my body got overheated. Like it was full of lava. I couldn't breathe. Everything went blank. Um, people that was with me told me I was out for like five, ten minutes. They couldn't wake me up for nothing. So I actually went to the ER that day. That's my first episode. After that, I just had one episode after another. Um, at least once a month minimum. Um, I had a really bad one on Valentine's Day night. And that also sent me to the ER. Uh, it was like having a seizure, but fully aware of what was going on. And I think that was my first seizure, but we're not 100% sure that was a seizure or not. But. It happened. Um, stuff that happens to my body. I clenched up like my arm up here and I can't move it. I don't know what's going on. I'm completely fogged out. I start shaking. I'll stutter. I'll stutter a lot. That's actually a common effect with any of my episodes. I stutter a lot. When I have an anxiety attack, panic attack, I stutter. Um, I've been diagnosed with panic disorder. Which is basically meaning I have a panic attack at any given moment with no warning no cause i don't have to be stressed about it i could be happy go lucky running the metal with balloon and a kite you know frolic along with the bunnies <laughs> i don't know and i'll have a panic disorder attack and, and you know and um it sucks it sucks um when this happens my whole body goes like crazy sometimes even numb a couple of weeks ago i had a seizure in the middle of the night where my boyfriend woke me up and found me convulsing and stuff like that. Um, I woke up while still having a seizure and I was fully aware of what was going on, which is scary. He has seizures himself, so but when he has it, he forgets everything. 
he doesn't know what's going on before or after, and he stays that way for a couple of days, even a week or two. Um, me, I was lucky enough to be fully aware of everything. Not fun. Um, I didn't go to the hospital to the next day because I just felt like completely out of it. Uh, my face was pounding. It felt metallic. That was the best way I could describe it. Felt like I had copper in my mouth. Um, but it just not in my mouth. It just felt that way. The, my whole face felt copper and metallic. So it was concerning. And I'm normally a goofy person, so I was not goofy at all. And I was good, and completely out of it. So my boyfriend finally took me to the ER to get checked up, and they said I had a seizure. Yay! And that was like two weeks ago. That was my newest symptoms of ever. So I'm basically getting worse, not better. Um, I was going to go for, before seizure, I was going to go get a personal trainer, like I mentioned, and, uh, yeah. For a whole year, it's about, I think, uh, was like eight grand. Um, and I was trying to raise that on here for GoFundMe, but I can't step because of seizure, and I'm not able to go to the gym anymore because I'm not able to drive. So, before I needed, you know, a partner at the gym. I was able to drive as long as I had somebody with me. Um, like I said, I partner at the gym. So if anything happens to me, there's somebody with me at all times. But now it's to the point where I can't even do that. So I want to work out from home. I do have a couple of things. I have weights. I have the total gym, like I said. But I just need other things, like cardio things. Um, it's a small house. So I've tried doing, like, Zumba and stuff like that. But it's not really much room for all that. So... There is two things I would like. Um, elliptical and incline trainer from Nordtrack. I want the space saver elliptical because, well, space saver. I could put in a closet. Um, and the incline because, you know, it inclines. It gives you a better workout and stuff like that. So I am being picky about what I want because I know what I can handle. I have used similar machine and the incline I do love. I can handle it very well. Um... And I like to have this at home. You know, my boyfriend does work from home, so he's always here. I'm never alone. So, yeah. I can't afford six grand worth of machines. And honestly, it comes up to like 5000 and I think it's like 5100 5, But GoFundMe does charge a 5% per donation fee plus additional 3% or something else. I forgot what it was. So it does charge to have the site and get money. That's why I put six grand on here. Um, there is no rewards. I don't know what to do about the rewards. Um, personal thanks. You know, updates. That's pretty much all I call for you. I'd be so grateful. You know, if I had the money, I would still buy it myself. But I don't have the money, and I don't qualify for the bill me later either pay monthly it kind of sucks I wish they did have a monthly finance payment thing other than the bill me later but unfortunately they don't um hey if somebody could just buy me this stuff awesome <laughs> but you know I'm just asking for help here you know dollar here dollar there it all adds up in the end I'm not expecting somebody just to drop six grand on me at once I wish that was possible but I'm not expecting it. Um, and if you can't donate, just at least share my page. Maybe, you know, some friends of yours can help. I just need to get help back, to get my health back in order. I am very weak. Um, I'm gaining again. I've gained at least five pounds is my lowest weight. So I've gained like five pounds in two months. So... Yeah, I cannot gain. I just cannot. Um, so, yeah. I'm sure I'm missing out some part of the stories. I just, like I said, my brain scattered. So, whatever I said 15 minutes ago, I don't remember exactly what I said 15 minutes ago compared to now. Other than that, so. Please help get my health back on track. I'm much appreciated. Well, thank you in advance. Love and hugs.